We are now looking at problems of this sort, okay, where they're asking us to find two integers u and v such that 273u and 110v equals 1. Now, in, to do this sort of problem, first of all, we use the Euclidean algorithm, as we did last time. Then we rewrite in terms of the remainders. You know, so remember when we got a remainder, you'd have that equals something minus something times something, yeah? And then what we do after we've done that is we substitute back upwards until we've got everything in terms of 273 and 110. Okay, so let's go through that one step at a time. Okay, if we looked at it, Okay, so we start off 273 equals 110 times 2 plus 53. Yeah? Next step, you do 110 equals 53 times 2 plus 4. Remember we did this one last time. And then we've got 53 equals 4 times 13 plus 1. And lastly, we had 4 equals 4, sorry, uh, 1 times 4 plus 0. Okay, so this would give us a greatest common divisor of 1. Remember from last time. However, what we then do is we forget about the last one. We're not interested where the remainder's zero. Okay, so forget that one. But we look at these three here, or however many you've got to get to that point. And what we do is we rewrite these, but in terms of the remainder. So look, the top one would give me the remainder is 53, yeah? And that's 273 minus 110 times 2, isn't it? Yeah? The next one, if you look at it, the remainder is 4, isn't it? So 4 is equal to 110 minus 53 times 2. And the last one, if you write it in terms of the remainder is 1 equals 53 minus 4 times 13. Yeah, if you remember, that's just those three written in terms of the remainder. So in terms of 1, 4, and 53, making them... So when we're looking at this one, what we do is we look at this equation here and we replace the 4 with 110 minus 53 times 2. And then when we've done that, we're going to replace, okay, the uh, 53 with 273 minus 110 times 2. Because what that will do is that will give us this 1 equals something entirely in terms of 110 and 273, which is what we're after up here. So let's start that. Look at the first one here. 1 equals 53 minus, remember we're replacing the 4 for that. So 110 minus 53 times 2. Okay, that's our 4 times 13. Remember that was replaced by this bit here. Okay. Let's tidy that up a bit, okay? We've got one equals, well, let's see. We've got uh, 53, that's 26. So it's going to be uh, 26, 27, 27, 53s, isn't it? Yeah, so that's gonna be 53 times 27, now minus 110 times 13, yeah? 
So that's just that tidied up a bit. Now the next bit is I'm going to replace this 53 with what I've written there. Yeah. You see, we can replace the 53 there with what's written here. Then we would have everything in terms of 273 and 110, which is what we're after. So let's do that. So 1 equals, now, the 53 is this bit, which is 273 minus 110 times 2. That's instead of the 53, that's times 27. Okay, minus 110 times 13. Okay, so if we look at this, you've got 273 times 27. So tidying it up, you've got one equals 273 times 27. Now that gives you minus 54 times 110, minus another 13. Well, 54 and 13 is 67. So that'll give you minus 110 times 67. Okay, now this is now written in the same form it is up there. So if you just compare it, you can see that U has to be 27 and V has to be, now be careful, it's minus, so it has to be minus 67. And those were the two integers we were looking for. I'll go through one more example. Okay, here, remember this sort of problem, we always start with the Euclidean algorithm. So, if we start off, remember, we start off with one, Three six five equals eleven ninety times something plus a remainder. Well, in this case, it's obviously one, and if you do that, your remainder is one seven five. Okay. Next time round, remember that goes to this side. So eleven ninety equals one seven five times something plus something else. Remember, you can use your calculator to try it or do it by long multiplication, whatever. But anyway, looking at this one, I tried seven, first of all, too big, so it was six. Okay, and it gave me a remainder of 140. Now, the next one was 175 equals, okay, 140 times, well, it's obviously got to be one plus 35 and then the last line for this one was 140 equals 35 times 4 plus 0. Remember as far as this sort of problem goes we ignore the plus 0 remainder but the rest of them we want to make the remainder the subject. So let's do that shall we? Okay, if you look at the top one here, that would be 175 equals that, take away that. So 175 equals 1365, take away 1190 times one. Remainder there is 140, so 140 equals 1190, take away 175 times 6. And then the last bit we do is 35, which remember is the number we're after in this thing, equals 175 take away 140 times 1. Okay, remember what we're going to do next is the sort of reverse substitution thing. Because what I want to do first of all is I want to get rid of 140 in this one. But look, 140 is equal to that. So I can put that in there instead of 140. And then similarly, I know 75, 175, I can change it for this thing here. So let's go through that. Let's start off with our first line there, which is 35 
equals 175 minus, now remember, instead of 140, we're putting in this bracket. So it is that bracket, which is 1190, minus 175 times 6, and that whole thing is times 1, yeah? Better tidy this up a little bit before we do the next bit, otherwise it's going to end up filling half the thing and make you more likely to make mistakes. So, 35 equals. Now look at it, minus and minus is a plus, so that's times one, so it's going to be six 175s, plus the one we've already got is 175 times seven. Minus 1190 times one. Now, for the next line, I'm getting rid of 175 by substituting in this. So, we've got 35 equals. Now, instead of 175, I'm writing down this, which is 1365 minus 1190 times 1. That's instead of 175. Remember, it's times 7. Minus 1190 times one. Now, so tidying that up, we have 35 equals, well, one, three, six, five times seven. Okay, that's the first bit. Now this is minus seven times 1190 minus another one. So it's minus 1190 times eight. So looking back to our original thing here, you can see that u is 7. And be careful, remember that's plus, that's minus. So v is minus 8. And that's how we use it to answer this sort of number problem.